Now there's a lot on our computer and all this takes up a lot of space. Some things that we might be aware of but no longer need and some you might have no idea about. And in this video I'll show you how to locate and delete these files to free up some space on your Mac. Let's get started. Now this process works on any Mac, whether it's a MacBook, iMac, Air, Pro, anything that's running Mac, you can use this video to help you free some space. Now the first few tips are pretty basic but something you might miss. The very first thing we're gonna look at is our downloads folder. And you can access your download folder right from here. Or we can go into finder. And from here downloads. And here you'll have a list of everything you've downloaded on your computer. These can be pictures, songs, films, movies or anything you've downloaded ever from the web. So I recommend checking this list out and deleting anything you no longer need. So in this case I'm gonna delete all of these files that are old here. Now you can also change the orientation of this and how information is being presented to you. So we can search by size, by kind, application, name, date modified, date added and all of that. So once you've got rid of every file from your downloads folder, it's now in your trash folder. And this is another place that we sometimes miss out. So anything that you delete doesn't really get deleted from your computer, it actually stays into your trash folder which is right over here. So let's go ahead open our trash folder. And from here again, you want to go through everything that's in the trash folder just to make sure you don't delete anything by accident. So once you've reviewed everything in the trash folder and you're sure you want it gone, you can click on the empty sign right here. Or you can double press on your trash folder and from here empty trash. Confirm once again and that will empty your trash just like that. Now if you're running on Mac High Sierra or the newer softwares, it actually gives you a little more information about what's on your computer within the Apple software. So we can check that by going into the Apple logo and from here about this Mac. From here click on storage and this might take a little bit to calculate and it'll tell you exactly what place is taking up how much storage. So let's wait for that to calculate and let's see the end results. Alright so once it's done its calculations these are the results for me. Alright so the most storage is being taken up by my documents so these are all the files that are on my computer and that's taking up 64 GB of storage. The next thing right here is the system storage. And my system is eating up almost 60 GB of storage as well. So that's a lot of space for system. So these are the things you physically didn't download yourself. These are the files and caches your system itself has created on your computer. And usually if it's anything more than 20, you should definitely look into clearing your system storage. And I have a dedicated video on how to do that, which I'll link in the description box down below and should be in a tag right now. The next thing that's taking up more storage is my application. So these are all the apps and softwares I have loaded on my computer and I'll show you how to review them and delete the ones you no longer need. And the next are just small things that I won't really worry about. So let's close out of this and let's go into our applications folder. So go into finder and from here go into your applications folder. And here's a list of all applications that are currently on your computer. Now I don't recommend deleting anything that's within the utilities folders. These are applications that are installed by Apple and they come with your computer as default and most of these things you might need at one point or the other or the stuff that's being used by the software. So I don't recommend using or changing anything within the utilities folder. And just to show you guys an example, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this Omni Disk Sweeper and this is the application we'll be using next to find hidden applications and hidden places that are eating up storage on a computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and reinstall it with you guys so we are all on the same page here. Alright, so this is the website where we're gonna download the Omni Disk Sweeper. I'll also have the link in the description box down below. So once you're here, just click on the download button. And once the app is downloaded, Go ahead, launch it, and let's go through the installation process. Alright, so once you see this page, just drag it to the applications folder, and we're pretty much done. Now I'm gonna go into my applications folder, and from here, let's try to find the Omni Disk Sweeper. So it's right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Click open, and something like this should pop up. So I'm gonna close out of all the other windows because we no longer need them. So this is Omni Disk Sweeper and from here we're gonna select into our disk. So Macintosh HD and double click on that and that will launch us into a second page like this. Now we no longer need this page but I still have it open. But this is where we're gonna dig into files we no longer need. So as you see slowly analyzing all the files and the numbers will keep changing until it's done its analyzing process. And once it's completely done we're gonna go ahead and find applications we wanna delete. Alright so it looks like it's done its analyzing. 
And from here, let's go into applications first of all. And here you can see exactly what application is taking how much space. And usually if application is taking up anything more than 10, 12 GB, you might want to look into the application and you might see a cache folder that is filled. So if you see the cache folder, you can select the cache folder and just hit trash and it will delete the cache folder. Just make sure you're a little more careful when using this software because you can delete files you don't want to. But anyways, let's start with users. And from here, I see movies is taking up 64 GB of storage on my computer. So this is the file right here, which is taking up 53 GB of storage on my computer. Now, if I want, I can just select on the file or I can just double click and it'll take me to the location where the file is located. And now this file is a movie project from my Final Cut Pro. So if you have ever used the editing software like Final Cut or even iMovies, it does take up a lot of space on your computer. And you can delete those files once you're done by going into your finder and from here movies and you'll see the applications right here or in some cases if you make the movie file on your desktop or somewhere else it'll be located right over there so you can just delete the file right from here if you don't want to go into the omni disk sweeper and delete it that way so i'm gonna go ahead and delete it from here put it into my trash and let's see what else i have on my computer now just like that i went to my library and here's a cache folder and from here here's adobe and here's lightroom so these are all the cache files by Adobe Lightroom that I can safely delete without harming my computer and these are files that I no longer need. So I'm going to go ahead and I can just hit delete or I can just press delete right here and it will delete that file for me. So just like that, go through everything and delete anything you might need to or you might have to. Just be a little more safe. I don't recommend going into the system files and deleting anything from there or into privacy or anything down there. So just focus on the user application files, maybe library or just basic stuff, don't go into things you don't know and don't delete anything you have no idea about. Alright guys, so once you're done reviewing everything from Omni Disk Sweeper, make sure to delete anything from your trash folder once again for the very last time. And by this time, you should have freed up a lot of space from your computer. If you have any questions or concerns, you can let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And if this video helped you out, let me know by hitting up the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.